Hi guys, it's Rie. We meet again. I'm back at Jikoni Studio. They have their own YouTube. Subscribe below. Fun fact, Jikoni is kitchen in Swahili. Today, I'm gonna teach you a little bit difficult dessert. I'm making souffle. What is souffle? Souffle is a warm dessert made with eggs, flour, sugar, and butter. It is usually served in a ramekin like this. The ingredients wise, it's not that complicated, but you have to make sure the souffle will rise, so it's a little bit difficult. You don't see it at the bakeries or pastry shop because you have to eat it right after it came out from the oven. So when you go to the restaurant, you order souffle, it takes about 30 minutes to make, so you have to order ahead and stuff. So if you leave it too long, it will shrink. You know, restaurants close right now, so I think it's a perfect dessert to challenge at home. But if you make sure those key points I'm going to teach you today, I guarantee you you can make souffle rides. Impress your friend, impress your roommate, impress your significant others. If you're living by yourself, impress yourself. Let's get started. This recipe is actually my pastry sensei Jun. It's a little bit different than classic recipe, but it will guarantee you souffle will rise up and it's not too eggy. Basically, I'm going to make Italian meringue and pata shoe. Italian meringue, I will need 200 gram of egg whites. When I make pata shoe, I will use whole egg, but I don't want to waste egg yolk, so I'm going to use egg yolk for my pata shoe. And you want to make sure there is no trace of egg yolk in the egg whites when you're making meringue. When you have any fat, it's difficult to whip up egg whites, so be careful. Okay. Whee. I have 200 grams of egg whites. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to make pata shoe. So one stick butter is 113 grams, so I'm gonna just use one stick butter. I'm going to cut butter, then we're gonna put it in the pot. And I have 150 milliliter water. Milliliter? Am I saying right? 150 milliliter? 150 ml, ml. So once water comes to a boil, I lower the heat to medium heat and add 100 gram of flour. So the dough should become like one big bowl and you want to keep mixing with spatula. You have to start about three to four minutes. So I think it looks good. What you're looking for is like the dough all come together like this. You wanna take off from the heat and wait until it's cooled down. If you add eggs while it's still hot, eggs become scrambled egg and you don't want that. So just wait about five minutes. So you are going to add one egg at a time. And when you add egg, it will look like separating like this, but it's okay. You just keep whisking until kind of blending together. So I'm gonna add a second egg. Pastry is like pretty and delicate, but behind the scene, it's so much muscle and elbow grease. Really looks a little gross. When I see souffle in a restaurant, I definitely order. If I have to scale one to 10 and attain the highest, souffle is definitely around 9.5. It's pretty high up there. So I used all the egg yolk, but it's still not there. So I'm gonna add one whole egg. This is it. The texture you're looking for is when you drop it, it kind of drops it, creating like V shape. So now I'm going to make Italian meringue. So I'm adding 200 grams sugar, 60 milliliter water. You want to boil until it reaches 240 Fahrenheit. I have 200 gram egg whites. I'm going to whisk a little bit. So sugar reached at 240 Fahrenheit and I'm adding slowly. You want to whisk the egg until stiff peak and look like very glossy like this. Good. Oh, you want to butter your ramekin and you're going to sprinkle sugar 
souffle has to rise, right? And if you just put butter, it's too slippery, so souffle cannot climb up. But if you put sugar, it's a rough surface, so it's kind of rock climbing, like souffle can climb up. And you don't need a lot, so like you kind of like roll it and dump it. So now I'm going to scoop a little bit of patashu mix and scoop Daria meringue and combine together. I'm going to add a whole patashu mix in a large bowl. And I combined a small amount of patashu and Daria meringue. The reason I don't dump everything together because I don't wanna destroy Daria meringue I just made. So kind of loosen patashu with like small amount of meringue. So it will incorporate much better. And now I'm going to add Italian meringue. This is not the traditional way of making souffle because you don't use patashu for souffle. But I like the flavor of this recipe much better. So now I'm going to bake this in the oven, 375 pm high, about 20 to 30 minutes. While we are baking souffle, let's make chocolate sauce. I have 150 milliliter of heavy cream and I have 150 gram chopped dark chocolate. My heavy cream is boiling, so I'm going to pour over chocolate chocolate. Wait about a minute and start whisk. All right, that's it. We made a chocolate sauce. Yes, it's rising. So it's going in the oven and it's big. She's big. <laughs> One seems like exploded. It's a little sad. It's ready. Oh my God. So focus on this guy. One of them is exploded. All right, we made a souffle. This is pretty. Time to try. You have to eat souffle right away because it's gonna shrink. It's not as eggy. It's delicious, it's fluffy, warm, and it's like custardy. And it's delicious when you pour a little bit of chocolate. It's like perfect winter dessert. I highly recommend you make a home. I think this is gonna be a perfect dessert for like day night, because you can make two. And I don't know what happened, this guy, it's exploded, but it still tastes good, it tastes the same, it just doesn't look as good. It's challenging, but it's rewarding. Thank you so much for watching, and comment below what you want me to make next time, and what you wanna learn. I'll see you next time. I hope I don't have chocolate in my teeth.